at Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, September 5, 2023, is Taylor Swift about to save AMC stock? AMC is on the move after announcing a film version of Taylor Swift's era's tour. AMC Entertainment stock rose after the company announced a film version of Taylor Swift's era's tour coming to theaters. AMC sold $26 million in pre-sale tickets for Taylor Swift the era's tour on the first day they were available. The new concert film could save theaters from the fallout of the Hollywood strikes. AMC Entertainment, NYSE, AMC, and investors in AMC stock are now hoping Taylor Swift can save the theater company from the Hollywood strikes. Why? Well, a film version of Swift's recent concert tour entitled Taylor Swift The Era's Tour, is due to start playing in AMC theaters on October 13. The company sold $26 million in pre-sale tickets for the show on the first day that they were available. This beat a record previously held by Spider-Man, No Way Home, which did $16.9 million on its first day of pre-sales. Shares of AMC stock opened at about $12.68 per share on September 5 and now trade closer to $13 apiece. AMC also has a market capitalization of about $770 million. The stock traded at about $11 per share before the deal was announced. Swifties save us. Reportedly, Swift and her team made the deal for the film directly with AMC CEO Adam Aaron after negotiations broke down with Hollywood Studios. AMC is also the film's distributor. Adult tickets to the film are selling for $19.89 apiece while children and seniors will pay $13.13 per ticket. AMC is taking less of the box office on Taylor Swift the era's tour than it would on Hollywood films. The company is hoping concessions like $14.99 collectible popcorn tubs will help make up for that. Some studio bosses are upset about the deal. They're having to rearrange their own release schedules to accommodate it. There's also fear that other artists, or event producers, could take a direct route to theater distribution. But the deal could also benefit Hollywood. Without Swift, AMC would have little to show this fall, which could have driven it and other exhibitors under. Cineworld, the owner of AMC rival Regal Cinemas, only emerged from bankruptcy last month. Meanwhile, traders at StockTwits have been generally bullish on news of the concert film. What happens next? Those who assumed the volatility in AMC was over after the company converted its eight preferred shares to common stock now have egg on their faces. That includes me. Of course, some analysts still see AMC going to zero. But B. Riley recently raised its price target on AMC stock from $4.50 to $45 per share, citing the Swift deal. Thanks for watching.